Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 17 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is Something I Can Never Have. And I am very excited. After watching Episode 16 like an hour ago, uh, I cannot wait to watch this new episode. I'm very excited that I get to watch it. And actually, if you're on Patreon, I'm doing a binge Today, I'm posting four episodes, 16, 17, 18, and 19 today, so stay tuned for more. Uh, I'm very excited, like I said, that I get to watch all of this together and actually next week finish a season two and, you know, post and share my reactions with all of you, only if you're on Patreon. On YouTube, you do... You will have to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to post two reactions per week, I think, just to try to finish it up. Uh, but it's not as many as you have on Patreon. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been supporting my reactions. And I hope you guys comment uh, about your favorite part of the reaction, your thoughts, everything. So, yeah. Um, let's see what's going to happen uh, after that fail wedding. And let's see what Dan wants to do to Deb. Something awful, I bet, because he is just an awful person. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited as well. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube, a big heart if you're watching on Patreon. Continue supporting for more, and thank you to everyone who is still watching my reaction videos for this incredible show. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 2, Episode 17 of One Tree Hill. <laughs> Isn't this the picture of a perfect family? Actually, it is. The judge granted me sole custody of my no, daughter, which no, for the brunette no. impaired means that Jenny comes home to mommy. No, 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 no. 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 That cannot <laughs> be. Huge dogs for you. How can that be possible? Like, yes, they wrote a, 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 a wrong a, a wrong address, but like, how can she say, oh, my, my, the father of my child lives there. Go and tell him that to for the court order and everything. And they don't find him there, meaning he doesn't live there. Come on, that is just ridiculous. Find out about Dan's arrangement with Jules. Huh. What arrangement with Jules? Ooh. Keith. Ooh. What arrangement? Oh my god. The one that we've been hiding Dan. from you. Well, hey. the one that Lucas has been hiding from you because Dan has been manipulated. Jules. Both you knew about it and you said nothing? She, to be honest, she just found out. And also, he's a child who's being manipulated by Dan. Because you painted Dyke on her locker. <gasps> it was this bitch? <gasps> if I have, like, I didn't need more reasons to hate him. But, like, add homophobic to the list. Now, he's, like, even worse. No, no, it's not even worse than Dan. He's just equally as bad as Dan is. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys hanging out as much since then. You're so predictable. Oh, this bitch. I swear to God. I wouldn't like... One well-placed room and neck. you go running off scared. We're brothers, Keith. I would never do anything to hurt you. Yeah, sure. Especially with the woman you're going to marry. Checking the yellow pages under W for whore. <laughs> wait. She's not that bright. You better check on her age. <laughs> about time. I really hope you can kick his ass. At least you got one good punch. I got nothing left to lose, but you do. Woo! Vindictive! Vindictive Keith! I'm really sorry. That's okay, Anna. Anna. You're not the one who owes me an apology. I'm gonna do it. I'll give you that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. No, I hate you! <laughs> She's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> they said no. Why? Any other places you'd like to recommend? Yeah. Far away from me, <laughs> unless you'd like your next period to come out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Only someone without a mother could think that. Oh you know, no, no. Leave. Oh no, 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 no. This bitch dare to say that? <sighs> I'm about to throw hands, I swear. Before Jenny knows what it feels like to be motherless. Yeah. Yeah. Want to see you, bitch. Mr. Togato, close the door, please. It's the one without Dyke painted on it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a bad Monday for everyone. Did you even consider what would happen to me when you turned me in? What? You totally screwed me over when I was the only one looking out for you. You were looking what? out for yourself. Even Brooke? Yeah. 
someone who is like this awful to, to your family member, do you think that he's boyfriend material? I'm not. Like what? hell you're not? What reason Why? on earth could you have for staying? Who knows what else he could be up to? And now you're what? A I detective? miss one weakness. I look as you irritate me sometimes. <laughs> hey, don't, don't. Good point. So okay. Cute. Hi, you've reached Haley. And Nathan, I live here too. Yes, Nathan. I mean, we're just, we're having really okay. hot sex. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're so hot. I'll leave a message. You can really put that out? Can't ask you to do that. Oh, come on. He You're likes to help. I'm offering. Bless his soul. I love Andy. Keitha, I'm so sorry. Also, she just yeah, found out. Please, please stop, please. Oh, my God. Oh, Karen, haven't you already done enough? What? I want to help. Okay, I'm gonna give him because of, of the fact that Karen has decided to go mute, you know, and she doesn't, she hasn't told him that, yes, I found out like three hours before, or like an hour before you got married, and I am the reason you are not marrying a lying bitch. Okay, so you're welcome. Bye. Uh, I didn't know I about swear. Jules until right before the wedding. Oh, thank God. And the God. only reason I know anything is because I, you know, TV might be more entertaining. There's nothing on TV, I want to say. Talk to me. That was really funny. She's looking out the window. She's like... <laughs> I love Brooke. There's something I gotta tell you about Felix. <laughs> protect my sister, Brooke. By like being I did it the night at the folk. dance. When Pete and I argued and you dumped me. I wasn't thinking. Well, what a surprise. <laughs> I was in a dark place and I took it out on Peyton. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Sorry. You are sorry. Is she really moving now? This is so Oh my god. Good morning. I got my dream guy. Well, yeah, you did good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very passive aggressive with you guys. You guys haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, what I got myself into. <laughs> I love that. I asked you to marry me because I want to spend my life with you. I still want that. Well, you have I something to say. What do you mean you don't know what to say? Um, no, no, Chris and I aren't together, I promise you. It's never been about that. Oh, really? Now it's all happening at once, and it's really hard. What an awful person she is. I'm I don't sorry. know if I can be here. Well, honey, I think you got your answer, you know? Good for you, sweetie. Peyton isn't gay, Felix. I am. I am. I won't be afraid anymore. Good for you, Anna. Now you know the truth. I'm gay. I'm so proud of her. Now, bitch, be so gone. Do you still have my back? That is the one thing that sometimes I hate about straight people. That you come out and suddenly it's like, why are you doing this to me? Like, you know? Like, this is a problem for them, rather than for you, that will have to, you know, endure all the crazy things this world gives to you when you decide to come out. It's okay, Anna, you have me. What? Oh, her room at Karen. It's room at Karen's. You did this for me? Of course you did. I wasn't ready to lose you yet. <laughs> of course. If Nikki's ready to fight for custody, then so am I. Good. Me and Jenny and you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Aww. <laughs> but now for some All right. <laughs> okay. But you gotta know, Jules loves you. Oh, fuck off. You're not gonna defend her. I don't know if I have anything to come back for. Okay, good. Bye. Oh, Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 2, Episode 17 of One Tree Hill. And, well, you know, like, I, I, I already said this, like, many times, but, like, what is happening with, with Nathan and, and, and Haley, the fact that 
I truly now believe that Haley doesn't really love Nathan. Um, because, and, and honestly, I don't like the fact, here's the thing, I don't like the fact that they have put her to choose. Like, if you are a, 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 a you know, a girl, a woman, and you know, you have dreams, and you always have to, like, follow your dreams, you know, be who you want to be always like you know and and but what i i hate is that they have put this as you either have a family and, and with with your husband you you have love or you have a career uh and the fact that they made her choose i wouldn't have liked it either way you know that they make her choose either your life in tree hill with your husband, with the possibility, you know, of finding, doing music, uh, not specifically with Chris, but with someone else, um, or you go and this is your one time, your one chance. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that they have put Haley to compete. Make Haley com like put the two options against one another. You know, they, it was a life of dead decision. You either do this or you will never have it again and you stay with your husband. And that's it. That's the only outcome. That's the only way to do it. Um, I just don't like that. Were they too young to get married? Probably. Were they too hopeful, too in love to, to get married? Yeah. They were. They needed more time to get to know each other. <sighs> but the commitment of having a relationship was there either way, you know? And I feel like Haley has just... She's been just awful using Nathan when she needed some things and when she needed to be, like, someone to hold her. She chose Nathan, but the second she had something better... She left him, you know? And it's so dumb that this is the situation going on for both of them. And also the fact that she cheated on him and, like, every possible bad thing that she could have done to just destroy her marriage, she did it. And I can't believe that she did. It makes me sad. It really makes me sad because I did... I had hope that they were going to say that Yes, they will have hard times, but the love will always be there. That they will always be respectful towards one, one, one another. And they were going to, you know, go through things together, you know, because that is what a true marriage is. But Haley cared about her music and her career more than she cared about having a relationship. Uh, which... You know, under any other circumstances, it, it's, it's not, I, I hate that it's presented to her like it's either one or the other and that she cannot have both. She could. Could be a little bit harder, maybe, yes. But she could. She definitely could. And she just chose to do the easy thing, just buy Nathan, welcome new life, singing, and that's it. You know, it's like she was with Nathan just for the moment and not because she truly cared about him. That makes me really sad. It really does because I feel like Nathan has just time and time again prove that he might not know everything, that he might not be the perfect husband, not, not but that he's trying, you know, he's trying to, to be there, to be understandable, understandable, understand, oh my God, to understand his wife. Um, but nothing worked, you know? It, when it was time to choose her career, Nathan, or both, she chose her career. And I hate that they didn't give her the option of do both. Have a, a husband, work it out. Do that. Nah, she didn't do it. And it makes me sad. I thought their love was 
stronger than that, but it doesn't look like it is. So yeah. Um, Keith was, well, Keith's storyline, at least is kind of entertaining with the whole, like, they dump him. But now he's gone, and, like, I cannot say I'm gonna miss him, because I won't, so, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Felix, in the other hand, I am very happy that he's leaving. Um, and honest, honestly, I, I am very proud of Anna. I think that her coming out is it's a very strong one. It's very powerful. The fact that she uses the word, the fact that she's like, no, I'm not longer going to be afraid of who I am because you made me feel afraid of who I was, you know? And when you're writing that awful word, you're writing that to me. You're telling, saying that to me as well, you know? And I don't think she, I don't think she, um, well, I think that she actually th have thought about this. Of course she had. And I'm so happy that she's so brave by coming out to a person who seems homophobic. And he truly seems like that. He truly is, you know, I feel like he, he really is because it's not a joke. You know, he says, like, oh, it was just a word. It's not a word. You know? So, yeah, I'm glad that she came out. I think that her coming out was was beautiful, you know? I think it was very real, something that a lot of people could have related or can relate to, to her. Now, having, you know, family who are like that, I'm very happy that, that she got the the chance and she was brave enough to come out even though you don't you she didn't know how Felix will react she still did it and I'm proud of her for doing it hopefully you know we'll we can see a little bit more of of her I'm really intrigued by it. so hopefully <sighs> sorry anyways what else happened Oh, Lucas is like, oh, I need to know everything about Dan. But that was not the only reason. Dan is still paying for the medicine. Uh, and Lucas doesn't want his mom to find out. Uh, so that's why he's staying and he's spying. I love that he's spying on everyone. It's crazy. But we'll see what that is all about. Um, then you have um, Brooke and, and, and Lucas. They are so adorable, and I love that Lucas cares so much that he made his mom go and talk to Brooke's parents so she could stay, and she, he got her to stay. I love that. I love that. And I love how their friendship is kind of being rebuilt before they jump into any relationship. So I'm happy. That makes me really happy because I think that... Um, I think they deserve a, check, a second chance, you know? Um, yeah, Jake, Peyton, and Nikki situation. I just, I can't believe that she says, oh, my, the father of my child with my child lives in this address. And they go probably to the address and Jake is not there, but assume that he is and set up a court date and, and, and just, you know, say, oh, well, since he's not here, we're going to give you the custody, even though. There's a reason why the kid is with her dad, you know? So, it's just stupid. Whoever it was, maybe, I don't know, something bad happened there. Because how can you side with with her, you know? Uh, funny thing, here in Peru, parents cannot kidnap their children. So, if the mom, for some reason, the dad just goes away or doesn't want you to see the, 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 the baby... It's not like he's allowed, but it's not called kidnap if he, you know, he, parents cannot kidnap the kids, which is, like, bad. But, yeah, it's just a random fact. I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I think that was the, the, the episode. Uh, it was a really good episode. Like I said, my favorite part has to be probably um, the coming out. Anna's coming out. It was, it was beautiful. It was well done. It was raw and it was you know hard to do it, 
but I think that is is one of my favorite coming outs, really. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, Nikki doesn't get custody of Jenny. And even, you know, every day I fall in love more of Jake and Peyton. Like, they're so cute. I just wish they could stay together forever. I really wish that. Anyways, that's 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 it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to watch the full extended version and the next two, three episodes. So go and check it out. Probably I'm already finished the entire season. So go and check it out. Link is in the description down below. And if you're on Patreon right now, give it a heart and continue supporting for more. Thank you to everyone who is watching. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Wondry Hill. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye.